Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. And today's video is based on the Evo in 1320 challenge. I recently finally bought one, set it up to max HP, and I wanted to see how I could do as far as leaderboard. And lo and behold, the Honda Civic chat GPT ratios never fail. Number one leaderboard by a wide margin. Uh, that makes some things very awkward. <laughs> anyway, let's go over the setup. So the setup is obviously a turbo setup. You want to have your lightest wheels. Uh, as far as electronics, you need your direct fuel injection and drag ignition, and then the turbo setup. Everything else is pretty standard. Uh, your epoxy exhaust, the catalytic converter. You want to have the AEM intake. As long as you get to 722 on the dyno or 840 on uh right here you're good to go and then as far as ratios like i said they are a modified version of the chat gpt ratios with just modifying the final drive so in a moment here i will show you guys how i race it basically i 3k rev with the clutch up so i get a little bit of boost built and it seems to like that a lot more than just starting from the bottom so let's go race i got a bunch of races from blake he actually just ran a 7.78 on me in a previous attempt of recording this, and then I got rudely interrupted by very loud motorcycles. But we're going to rev 3k, and we're going to go. You want basically every shift as close to rev limit as possible. Uh, if you can get first gear to over rev, it does seem to help. My average ETs seem to be about 7.81. But every so often, I do get a 7.7. .7. I've had two or three of them so far. But I'm also just not very consistent. I say that and I get a 0.51 very easily. <laughs> Who knows? But, yeah, 7.808. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting... These things can hang out with Mustangs very easily. Wait, what do you say? Accounts seem to be interested in some wind boosting. <laughs> There's a couple accounts that are uh, boosting their winds, and it's very annoying. Granted, it doesn't mean anything in this game. It's just kind of a bragging right, but if you fake your winds, it's annoying. <laughs> yeah, I guess my RTs are pretty consistent. 7.82. Yeah, this thing is just a beast. But yeah, we'll uh, put up these ratios, people can run the car, and we'll see how you guys do if you mess with the ratios a little bit and see what you guys get. Uh, of course, one of the best shifting races I get, I foul, because I'm talking at the same time. Not the fastest, though. That's another good ET from Blake. 7801, that's a good ET. Evo's a fun car. I really like that it can basically hang out with Mustang pretty easily. It's a little more consistent than Mustang is. Oh my god, the fouls are real because I'm talking. <laughs> They're always real. All I do is foul. You want free wins, wins, then races my way. I need to mess with my Honda Civic. It's a little bit slow now. But as far as this is concerned, I think... I'm pretty happy with my Evo setup. I would like to get a little bit better at reaction times, but we'll finish the races with Blake here and just see how it goes. I actually didn't even know I had engine damage because my oil hadn't ran out yet. So my first 7.78 was because I fixed my engine damage, which makes me wonder how many more I would have hit. Oh my god, a 618. I'm so bad. I'm good at ETs, I'm bad at reactions. Like, look at this, 7.81 to 7.82 nearly every race. But for the life of me, I can't RT. And that was a terrible first shift. But we're doing well. I'll go through these last two races. Uh, you can make up your mind on if you think these are good ratios and a good setup or not. Oh, this is a Mustang race, isn't it? Well, I was saying I'll hang out with Mustang, so let's see what happens here. Mustang can 7.77. I don't know if Evo can. 
but I have 7.78, so I'm supposing that 7.71 would be possible. But it's like I said, I don't feel like Mustang is as easy to low 7.8 as the Evo is. The Evo is just a beast if you want to run head to bracket, which is basically... There we go. I'm glad I got some good RTs on video. Uh, HT bracket, for those of you that don't know the lore and history of Nitto, uh, it's running a head-to-head -head car with a dial-in. So you can run different cars against each other. But that was a lot of fun. Some fun races with Blake. And uh, I hope you guys are excited to run some Evo races. Shoot them my way. We'll have some fun. And I'll hang out with you guys later. Peace out.